What is up, YouTube? YouTube, Mr. King coming at you live from the studio. So today, what we have here are the Beller questions. I'm just gonna be going over a review, and then we're gonna do something called the Food Web Gizmo. So today, we're gonna be predicting how an ecosystem will respond to disease and hunger. We're gonna figure out how, like, in the online simulation, what animals will do if like disease strikes. So a reminder. Here we have the food pyramid. Each level supports the animals above it. Something called the 10% rule determines that only 10% of energy from this level will go to the next level. The other 90% will stay behind, which is why you have to have approximately 10 times more calories or like biomass of whatever you're having. So you always need to have more prey than predators to support the animals. Um, Yep, that's what you should have learned yesterday. I just want to go over it before we do something called the Food Web Gizmo. So for today, go to Classwork, turn in your bell work for week four here, and then go to Food Web Gizmo. And then here is the worksheet right here. It looks something like this. Please put your name on it. And then we have done this these gizmos before, back when we were doing graphing. Click on the link. And then it looks something like this. What you need to do if you see the screen, make sure that you log in. I saved my username and password. A lot of students, you should have put your student ID probably as your user ID, but you can put really whatever you want. If you can't remember your login, go to login help and then put in your email address. If you still can't get in, you're gonna have to make a new account. So. In my worksheet for students that haven't done this before, I put the class codes for period one, three, and four respectively. What you're gonna wanna do, copy the code, and then go to paste it, and then hit enrolling class. And then I need to create a new account, register now. And then you put in your info, make an account, and then hit submit. And then once you make a new account, you should be here at the gizmo. Make sure you're going to want to hit launch. You're going to want to hit launch right here. And then once you're at this gizmo, it'll look something like this. I like in full screen. And what I want you to do first is play around with it. So click to bar chart. And this will show you like each animal. And then the amount of each, the amount of balance in each one. And you can give like these animals diseases. You can add it, hawks, remove them. Same with rabbits and grass and all the others. And then hit play and then see what happens to the ecosystem over time. Does it go out of balance? What goes on eventually? And then to reset it, you hit pause and then reset. Okay. And then as you're playing with the simulation, answer these questions as you go. It's going to be, it is quite long, so it's not going to be due until Monday. We will, I will give you work time on Monday to do it. Um, that is all we're doing for the day. We're going to be practicing food chains and you're going to be learning about what happens if like there's a drought or a disease and like you lose a lot of like, grass, how will everything else respond. And then you're going to learn about like what happens when diseases hit and things like that. Please reach out to me on Remind if you have any questions or put the comments in the YouTube video. Or, as always, you can come to tutoring Monday through Thursday after school. Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.